hello this is going to be I'm going to try and make it a quick video um, I'm just going to try and show you the things that I've made um, in preparation for the market the market is this Saturday and I am going to apologize in advance if I end up showing you things that I already showed you in the last video my brain is a little bit in a muddle right now <clears throat> And I'm literally just, I don't know what I showed you to what I haven't showed you. <laughs> but um, bear with me. Famous words. Um, I've made a couple more bracelets. Um, these are meant to be Jamaica colours. So I've made two of these. Um, this is my absolute favourite. I just love that blue colour. Can you see it there? It's like a denim blue and white, and then I did a plain one as well. Um, quite like that. Um, this, yeah, no, I didn't do this because I didn't buy this. I only bought this wall like a week ago. Um, also, I did another white one. Is it going to focus? Um, yeah, I've done those. Um, I think that's basically all the other bracelets that I've done so far. I did a couple more of the scrunchies. It's not full, but I have done a couple more. And I'm going to, I mean, these, you can knock these out in 10 minutes, 15 minutes. So I'm going to knock out a couple more of these. Um, did I show you the slouchy hat? Can't remember. Um, I'll show you anyway, just in case I didn't. This pattern is from our lovely Jen likes is it Jenny likes yarn Jen likes yarn and she um, has shared you can go on her blog page I'll put a link below where you to where you can find this slouchy hat um, pattern I'm not going to put it on because I've got a great big puff going on but um it is lovely to wear it it's I mean it's long so basically it's like making a hat twice because I was doing it and I got to about there and I thought by now I'd be finished this hat but then you do a bit more but when you put it on it's just so nice and cozy so thank you very much um Jen for this pattern and love it slouchy hat um oh my goodness Oh, I just picked up this hat and my face has just beamed because I've been beaming for the past couple of weeks. But y'all yeah, don't know. My family would know. My Fresh Off The Hook family would know that um, I posted on the page that, oh gosh, I'm going to have to get someone to um, make me, get me some, what do you call it, sparkly yarn. Because we don't get nice yarn down here. The lovely Vida, I will put you'll find her down below she was just like oh I'm going to Hobby Lobby what do you want I was like oh, I'm in the UK what do you mean I'm going to the shop it was like yeah I'm going to the shop do you want a packet of crisp and a packet you want, you, want, you want to borrow chocolate just like that and within a week I had sparkle sparkly yarn do you know what sorry I finally got New Zeal I'm going to show you some of the wool that I got one minute this is what I got from Vida. Oh, can you see the shimmer? Look at that sparkle. She got the black. Green, I've started using it and I'm like, oh my God, you better not end. You cannot end. This has to be the wall that never ends, I'm telling you. This has sequins on it.
she sent me all of this beautiful sparkly yarn so so far um, because I've been making all this stuff for the show um, I have only made myself a hat but I mean there's only one hat you can bless the hooks and the wool with the first time you use sparkly wool and it just had to be the famous Ziggy hat I've got on the Ziggy bandwagon so this is my M Y my sparkly Ziggy hat did I not say this was gonna be a short video I'm sorry but the sparkly wall has just kind of set me off I'm sorry but absolutely love it it's done with like a teal black and white and this is my very first Ziggy hat and the very first thing I made with the very first thing I've made with the sparkly wall I absolutely love it um, from there I made a couple more Ziggy hats a couple yeah literally a couple I made my eyes gold and green and I made hold on there's another one there should be another one somewhere because I made a blue one I made light pink dark pink and white um, yeah, there's one missing. I did a four color blue hat. These are all, um, I'm starting to bag everything up for Saturday, just um, just so that I can be um, organized. I made another, I can't remember if I showed you these. I made another of these um, Tracy Beauty pyramid hat I like to call them starburst it looks more like a starburst to me than a pyramid and I've slightly changed the pattern so um thank you very much Tracy but these are my starburst hats so that one's in a purple color and this one is in a pink color you can find her Tracy Beauty I don't think there's any numbers behind it I can't remember but um, she's on YouTube Tracy Beauty <coughs> Um, oh I'm not organized oh I know where the other Ziggy hat is it hasn't got a label on because I've got kind of like a a line going on when it's things that need labels are in another bag things that are labeled are in their proper bags already so I also made I'm going out of turn here but I also made um, rope scarves. These ones I thought I'd do in just plain block colours. So I did this in white and blue. Um, I, and I did this in like a variegated, is it variegated it's called? Variegated yarn with white. I'm gonna try and whip up at least two more so I can have them on, on the table. Um, Right, these are the hats that need labels. Some of them you may have seen. Um, definitely the Hello Kitty you've seen before. This, I think you saw last week. Oh my goodness, I can't remember what I've shown you and what I haven't. The spiral hat, I know I've shown you. Um, I did another spiral hat. I did another spiral hat. Don't think I showed you that one. Um pink and grey beanie Ooh, that join does not look nice pink and grey beanie I don't know if I showed you this chocolate brown one um, I did an orange one and then used another variegated yarn around there so it's like just the colour just kind of makes its own little pattern I made a red and that border is in dark grey that's a red and grey beanie and then a kind of is this duck egg and cream can't remember if you've seen that either um, so those are some of the beanies these need labels then I made a couple more of these um, hats these all have labels on I made um, the scully mesh scully summer hats um, I love this. This is in mercerized cotton and it is so soft and lovely. Um, that just literally sits on your head. Like, oh, 
my puff is in the way but it literally just goes like that on your head um, there's that this is also a mercerized cotton it is so lovely soft and shiny um, this is normal cotton mercerized again and normal cotton with a green edge <clears throat> um, I've got a couple more these need labels just, this is like a dark grey one I don't have any patterns for these I just whip them up myself and this one is um, mercerized again it's got like I don't know if you can see it's got brown flecks in it can you see it's got like brown flecks it's cream with like brown and different colour brown flecks um I've stopped talking about sparkly wool and I've lost my sparkle. Anyway, <laughs> um, what's in this bag? Oh, okay. I'll show you this. Um, another one of those hats. This needs a label. This is just normal yarn, um, acrylic yarn. And this is the blue Ziggy hat I was looking for. This is with dark blue, sky, like navy blue, sky blue, white, and kind of like a grey colour. And that's that. So these need, let me put them in here, these all need labels to put them on. Then I made a couple more of these headbands, literally a couple more. Um, these headbands and these they're quite stretchy this is normal acrylic wool this red one and these are all mercerized cotton the mercerized cotton has a little bit more give and it's nicer it looks more shiny and nice um there's a yellow hat that's missing oh here we are these are kind of like my signature hats and i made a couple I, i've only made three i've got some more over there that you've already seen um i think i showed you this one actually this blue hat these are the hats that I usually that usually sell that I've sold quite a few of these at work and things like that people like those I did another one in like it looks quite muted well from my eyes here I'm looking at the camera and it looks quite muted but it is quite a it's not a, it's not fuchsia what's that color it is kind of few like a, it is quite a bright funky pink I know it I don't think it looks like that but it's got like a I put a, accented it with a purple and cream color and this hat when I made it do you know what there is what's her name curly Kiara that's her YouTube name I think when I was making this hat all I could think of was Kiara because I know she likes bright colors <laughs> and it's such a bright yellow I could I just kept thinking oh my god Kiara will probably love this it was just weird but um yeah this is my bright yellow sunshine hat and I sat down one night and I thought my hats always come with a flower and I just wanted to do something different and I came up with a flower Um I may try to write it up at some point but this is the flower I came up with. The middle is done with the loop stitch and it's just a five, sorry, six point petal. Still got a little bit of a tail hanging out. But with like this hat, for example, it will just go on like that. I'll take the light off a minute and see if it makes a difference. It'll kind of look like that. Um, I'll put some pictures up at the end because I have taken quite a few pictures I've done a couple of these um, like I said loop stitch in the middle and six point petals another one this one I did plain plain blue um, this one with like a variegated um, yarn in the middle I'm not sure if the light is going to make a difference again um, here we go, another one. All my tails, I haven't sewn them in yet because I need to put um, clips on them. And then this one, because this would match that hat. 
let me know um i'm thinking of writing this up um if there is if anybody likes it then yeah i'll try write it up and i'll see what i do with it um i think i need to speak about sparkle wool again because i've just like i said i've just kind of gone flat <laughs> oh i've made earrings and again i'm going to try not to show you earrings because i've literally just put all, all the earrings that i have had i've put them together these are picote earrings that i did just small hoop earrings um you've seen these oh i'm putting these to one side i've done little tags for um what do you call it for my items on the table i just got scissors that i got the idea well beautiful butterfly 82 Haley, she um said you know get the scissors that do all the zigzaggy stuff i can't remember what it's called and just make your own tags and that's what i did so i've got tags that kind of look like this it was kind of difficult to figure out how to make a tag look nice but um i finally found out that well to me these look kind of nice some look like sweets and then I've got some that kind of look like that so I write my prices on oh this is one of them that looks like a sweet <laughs> well to me it does um, oh what else did a couple more of these hoops the tutorials by Texas Yarn Lover um, Oh, I really should have looked at my old video to see what I showed you and what I haven't, but um, I can't remember. This is, I call these the tri-point earrings, and the tutorial is by Marcel. It's either tutorial 11 or tutorial 18, I can't remember. But this is also one of her patterns. So one of these would be 11, one of these would be Tuesday tutorial Tuesday 11, and one will be tutorial Tuesday 18 but I can't remember which one I think that's all I'm going to show you in earrings I've done a couple more butterflies I've done the flowery ones and the hoop ones but I can't remember which ones you've seen anyway and anyway they'll it'll be like showing you the same thing um oh there is an earring I don't know if my I don't think I showed you the stuff that I sent my swap partner that was ages ago now um but these were the earrings I was going to send her that pattern i think i got it from is it crochet motifs motifs beyond the square crochet motifs and but then i did it and i really liked it but then i realized it was such a, i just picked it up and i just did it one day but then when i put it next to the hat and scarf that i sent her it was just so different it was such a different blue because i think i picked it out at night it was such a different blue that I thought, well, I can't send it to her because it didn't really match. It cut, you know, you could have gotten away with it, but I thought, no, I wanted it to match. So I will put pictures up um, at the end of the things that I sent her. So these were the earrings that I made, but um, I might make a couple more of these. They look all right. And, um, <coughs> oh, I'm not sure if I showed you these. There's that one as well. Gold in the middle and black around and i love these these are these are so big and i starch them so they feel really firm love those um yeah so i'll show you the hat and scarf that i made for my swap partner um i also sent her a um i made her a crochet hook holder so i'll put a picture of that up there as well and the tool of the trade i put in a size 10 the really big chunky plastic um crochet hooks i use those to make um chunky scarves the rope scarves Apart from that I will be putting pictures up of other things that I've made well kind of like the things that you've seen but I'll put the proper pictures up at the end and I did say it was a short video and I've spoken too much already 
If you're in the London area and you want to come down, it's at the Hackney Picture House. And yeah, my website's up. I forgot to say www.niftycreations.co.uk. Um, I'll put a link below as well. Come find me. All right, um, that's enough. I don't think there's anything else that I can show you. Everything else will be a duplication. <laughs> so goodbye, happy crocheting, and I'll see you in a couple of weeks. All right, bye.